Hi everyone, Hallie here. Well, I've got my prepared gessoed cereal box here measuring uh, 12 centimetres by 18 centimetres and I'm going to do some butterfly ATC cards. So I'm going to get four on here. Uh, so, and I'm making sure that my card is portrait. So I've got some Semco Ocean acrylic paint and I'm just going to randomly dot this over and put it on. I've also got some dark turquoise that I'm going to add as well because I think turquoise and blue go really well together. Just giving it a quick dry with the heat gun before I apply antique white Semco acrylic paint. Now I'm just going to use my finger here and just randomly apply it to this uh, page. I've got my Kayser Craft script stamp here which I'm going to apply with um, my Memento ink all over the page here randomly. Then I'm just going to give it a quick dry off. So I've got this napkin here with uh, butterflies on it and I want to put these butterflies onto this page. So with a fine wet brush I thought I'd just try uh, ripping them apart. Uh, but in the end, I just uh, ended up carefully ripping each butterfly off the napkin and placed it on here. So I'm going to use um, most of these butterflies on this page. So now I've got all these uh, ripped up, I'm going to use my gel medium by Devon and just stick these butterflies onto my card here. So making sure that it's all stuck down properly and that the gel medium is also being applied uh, to the top of the tissue paper as well. I'm just going to give this a dry with the heat gun all over. So now I've got some Semco acrylic paint and this is metallic silver and I'm just going to apply some of this just with my finger just randomly all over just to give it that uh, metallic look. Once again, just giving that a dry with the heat gun. So once this dries, um, or has dried, I'm going to just snip the edges um, of that tissue paper just to neaten it off. So I've got this stencil here uh, and I've got some uh, texture paste as well. Now this stencil was given to me by Kyra from Simply Creative Kyra and I'm going to use the butterflies on this. So this texture paste uh, dries a little bit on the clearer side so it's not as white so that's what I'm looking for. So I just want a subtle effect to come through. So after the paste has dried, I've got some ink gold here and it's yellow gold. So I'm going to apply this all over, just randomly here and there, just catching the textured paste butterflies. So I've got these um, three-dimensional butterfly stickers which I want to use on this page. So first of all, I'll need to cut them up. So before attaching the butterflies, I'm just going to uh, distress the edge with black soot distress ink and this will get rid of that white um, cardstock on the edge there.
Now that's all done, I'm just looking at my placement of the cards. So they're three dimensional and they've got foam tape in between. Um, I've had these for such a long time that uh, the foam tape doesn't stick anymore. So I'm gonna use my quick dry adhesive to attach these. So now I'm going to add some quotes and I'm going to get them from this metallic stickers quotation from Tim Holtz Ideology. So I'm going to use the white background with the gold uh, writing on. So just going through and just having a look at the quotes and there's some really nice quotes here. So some of the quotes here are a bit too long so I'm just going to cut them up and place them on the cards. So just to finish off the quotes, I'm just going to use my Sharpie Fine marker and I'm just uh, outlining the quotes. So with my ATC cards, I like to put a backing on it. So this is six and a half by nine and a half, and this will give me a quarter of a centimeter around. So I'm using my dot liner. Once again, I put the dot liner on the outside. I use my precision PVA glue on the inside so I know that it's going to stick for a long time. And then I just eyeball it onto the um, card. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I loved making these beautiful ATC cards and that you got inspired. Please give me the thumbs up, comment and share. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notifying bell where you'll never miss a new video. See you all next time. Bye!